All right, what I have here is three of these kilowatt meters, two different styles. And I thought I'd go over the function of that new style there. Pretty much everybody knows how to use this kilowatt in the center. Now I have three solar panels that I've shown in my other videos running here. This is a monocrystalline, 135 watt. We've got kind of a <coughs> heavy, uh, cloud day so sometimes the sun's coming straight through other times it's very blocked so you'll see this jumping up down a lot this is another monocrystalline the exact same one it's producing pretty close to the same power slightly off and then this last one on the right is a polycrystalline again uh, 135 watts rated so you can see on a day like today it's actually reading less than what the monocrystalline is, rated exactly 135. And then I have another one of these that's kind of uh, accumulated, and I have that set on just the voltage right now. So let me walk through the setup of this meter I'm showing here, and then we can get back and uh, look how the other ones are doing. All right, as I mentioned, uh, this is kind of a new meter, meter that you've seen around. It's actually a little bit less money. I found them for $17 on eBay, brand new. They're pretty simple to operate. They have a menu button and an up-down button and a light. Along the top here, there's a menu. <clears throat> so as I scroll across with the up button, it'll give different things. The first thing it'll show is the, what the voltage that's uh, measured on the line is. And then this is the accumulated time. Now the first thing you're supposed to do is just uh, do a reset. So it'll reset the time or reset any settings inside just by holding down the up button for 10 seconds and it'll come to a clear, all right, all clear. So now our time is reset. <clears throat> now the first thing I wanna do is change the uh, I want to put my electrical rate in here per kilowatt hour that I pay. So you hold the menu button down until it changes to a setup menu right there. All right, it's sitting 12. So I can, right now I am paying about 12. If you need to increase or decrease that, you can do that. And then you hit the menu again and locks that in. <clears throat> so let's get back to the, uh, <clears throat> so now our time is reset. We've got our Thing set up for 12 uh, cents for kilowatt hour and uh, now I'll just step through the menu so this AV is the is the line voltage this is what's called the ratio time so this is a way you can set up a ratio that you expect certain uh, devices to turn on and off and it'll actually start blinking this light if uh, it exceeds that. So that's if you have an appliance like a refrigerator that you say, well, that really shouldn't run more than 10% of the time. You could set it up for like 15%, and then if it goes over that, it'll uh, flash the LED. If I don't have it set up, <clears throat> but that is one feature in there that might be interesting to some people. This PW is the power that's coming in. So from the three uh, grid tie inverters feeding the wall here I'm doing 238 from those three panels. So that's the typical setting that you'd have just to measure the how much you're feeding back into your grid here from a solar standpoint. Hit the menu button again. Now over time, it says we've run, run for one minute. This will be how much money I've saved on this. This is called the, um, the power cost readout of how much uh, actually it's save, saving me. Obviously these are designed to tell you how much you're using, but we're using it in the opposite sense with these grid tie inverters. So given time, you can find out how much your solar system is saving you basically. Hit the up button again. This is the uh, totally uh, accumulated kilowatt hours. So if you leave this on for days and days, you'll find out how many total kilowatt hours you are accumulating 
back into the grid. Obviously it's going to take quite a, bit, quite a few minutes and hours to even generate one kilowatt hour of power back into the grid. So that's basically it. Back to the <clears throat> voltage one, so I'll just get back to the power one. So 234 is what I'm reading for the accumulation of these three. We'll go back over here. You can see my, my two monos are uh, within a few percent of each other. I must have one that's either not producing as much or might be a little bit more dirty than the other one. Now it's a very hot day here today. I did go out and wash them or I sprayed them down with water earlier and it actually increased the power here by about 15 percent it seemed. I'll do it on a clear day so it, uh, I'm not getting jacked around by what the clouds are doing to me here. And then looking at the polycarbonate one or the polycrystalline one on the right, 73 watts versus 83. So it's clearly uh, not doing as good as the monos are on the, on the left here. So there you go. Talk to you later.